What's up guys, this is Boondocks, and as the credits for Borderlands 2 are scrolling, scrolling by here, I just wanted to put in a few of my thoughts on what I've seen so far about the Borderlands pre-sequel, and it's kind of interesting. And so far, though I'm liking a lot of the in-game features that they're hinting at, and yeah, they're adding in quote-unquote four new players... I'm having a serious issue so far with the characters that you get to choose from. So, starting with like their tank class, which is uh, Athena, she very much resembles the one bitch that you kill in the first Borderlands, or if you don't kill her, you beat the shit out of her. I don't really remember, it's been a while, I apologize. Uh, Nisha, the Lawbringer. Looks a lot like the fucking sheriff, uh, Handsome Jack's girlfriend, that you kill in the second game. And then Wilhelm. This is the one that I have the biggest issue with. And while I have no problem playing bad characters, there was a lot of characters that I very much enjoyed in the Borderlands series. One of which is Patricia Tannis. And Wilhelm tortured the shit out of Tannis. So now I they want me to play a character that tortured one of my favorite characters and then become attached with this other person that I'm now having as playable. I would rather play Tannis. And that kind of bothers me. And then you have Claptrap. I'm curious to see how they're going to do Claptrap because... One of the issues I always have playing uh, Salvador in Borderlands 2 is that he's shorter than all the other characters. So if you go from playing one character and then switch over to Salvador, it's very, very noticeable. And that kind of bothers me, uh, just from him being shorter. Now, Claptrap only comes up to, like, the waist on Salvador. So how the hell are they going to program it unless they just put the camera view for when you're playing them up in the air? And then avoid, you know, making it from his actual eye perspective. So, I'm not really sure how they'll do it. And, yeah. Um, beyond that, I'm curious to see how it does work in this story. Some of the things will make more sense. Because during Borderlands 2, Handsome Jack tries to, uh, you know, he's talking with Angel. And going around and recruiting vault hunters and I've always wondered like why did he want the vault hunters because really he got to uh, get the warrior by himself pretty much I mean he the vault hunters didn't really help him uh, they mostly were just a pain in the ass and why did he try to collect them if at the beginning of the game he tries to blow them up and kill them all it never made sense to me why the in-game sound clips would then talk about him trying to go and recruit the characters that he then tries to blow up. So, I'm thinking that it will probably have something to do with his recruitment for, in the game, uh, the pre-sequel showing how the Vault Hunters actually helped him achieve his goals, which then led to him being able to totally dominate uh, Pandora and therefore become a total ass. Um, beyond that, I'm also kind of curious why Claptrap's working with him, uh, since Claptrap seems pretty pissed at Handsome Jack in Borderlands 2 for, you know, destroying all the other Claptraps, that's why you only see one now, and just generally being a dick, and so I'm kind of curious why Claptrap's working with him. So, as much as... I'm curious about the story and how it fits into the whole uh, universe for Borderlands because it's actually one of the few uh, online games like this that I actually care about the story for. Um, be a little bit concerned about playing characters which I've typically loathed and enjoyed killing. So, beyond that, I'm still looking forward to it and will probably play the shit out of it. So until then, good luck, have fun, peace.